So, this is a deck that I played last night, just kind of on my own. And it was really, really epic. There were definitely some misplays when I was watching this again. But my opening hand wasn't too bad. I had a lot of options. I could summon a lot of stuff. I was going second, and that's my preference. And I'd never played against a deck like this before. I've seen danger cards. I don't know exactly what they do. I saw some like light sworn stuff and I'm like, oh, some chaos dude. I guess this is some kind of chaos deck. And I was like, I don't know what he does. I'll just negate him. Spooky. Then I see a monster reborn and I'm like, what's going on here? What does this card do? And then he like cuts his life points in half like right away and I'm like, that's kind of a dangerous move. What kind of board is this dude setting up? And I'm like, he's he's gonna sink or something. I thought that dude was already like really strong on his own. And then I read this red archfiend's effect and I'm like, oh he can just basically just negate something once per turn. And I'm like, damn. Gonna have to think long and hard and figure out what I'm gonna do. And then he brings out this other card. And I have to read what this card does and I was like, this card basically has three negates. So he basically has four ways to shut down any combos I make between Archfiend and that like one archer girl. So I'm like, all right, I got this in the bag. I can just bait out a lot of effects and I just have to run them down. I have to just keep comboing and comboing and comboing. That's the only chance that I have. I think he messed up resolving that. And that's why I got the special summon. I'm not sure though. I'm no expert. So I'm getting my combos rolling. Yeah. And then I was waiting to see when he would activate that. So he activates that, but it's too soon. So he has to use his other card to chain to make sure I don't get to do that. But it's weak enough that I can take it down. So that, that's taken care of. And I'm like, all right, I have a quick effect. And he's probably going to burn his effect on that. Just like that. It could have gotten me another card, but it was worth it. Luckily, he doesn't bring anything else out. So. End phase. He's putting a bunch of stuff in the graveyard. I don't know exactly like what his win condition is or anything like that. I dropped the old monster reborn. I was expecting him to negate that. Which is great. Negates that. I don't use monster reborn. But... I can use this now. So I'm thinning my deck while also giving myself more combo potential. So he doesn't have any negates on the field. I didn't think he had anything in his hand, so I thought this was fine. So now I'm doing my usual prep to summon my other boss monster. Gotcha gotcha got Tets into Downward Magician into Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus Sky Thunder. And I'm like, alright, this this is where I make my comeback. He has two materials cell. So whatever he brings out, I can just blow it. I'm ready to go. I'm like Maxi. You're gonna keep special summoning. It's gonna be great. And then he brings that card out, and I'm like, oh shit. That card can destroy suits. So I'm like, I'll just use this effect, get rid of that other card on the field, call it a day. But then you can summon like another card anyway. But that lets me add another card and I'm like, I'm excited. I'm like, yes, I have my evil twins on my hand. So I'm like mildly stressing out at this point. Actually, I'm stressing out quite a bit. 
Because he has a really, really strong lineup. And I'm like, oh no. This is going to hurt a lot. And I'm hanging on by 300 life points. And I'm stressing and I'm like, I don't know what exactly to do. That Ash Blossom saved me from messing up really bad. It was very, very important that I did Ash Blossom, and I'll let you know later. So here, I'm trying to think, what can I do? Had to do some crazy combos, had to pop some of those cards out. And with my current skill level, my only thought was to use the destruction effect of Lila. Do my usual combo with her, summon her, summon her. But then, I, I didn't do that. And I summon another one instead. So he brings this fairy tale snow card out. And I had to read that because I'd never seen that before. And then he brings two of them out. And I'm like, okay, this is fine. I can use Max C and add two cards because he's summoning two different people to like the field. Alright, there's one and another. And I'm thinking this is fine. He activated a monster effect. I can take control of a card. Summon my card. And I was like, I don't have any Link monsters that I can use to get rid of his other card that are useful at this point in the game. Turn ends, goes back to him. We're both running low. But I'm like, he can't summon two monsters because of my magic card that's on the field. I have my evil twin card out. He summons that one, and I'm like, alright, you got 50 life points. But I forgot that card can flip a card face down, and I'm like stressing, I'm like, oh no, did I make a mistake? So I don't know exactly what to do. And I'm like, that card's that card's got a lot of sex. All my cards will flip face down, and he could just blow up some of my cards. I don't know what he's gonna summon. And he summons that big, bad, beefy dude. And I don't know what's going on. I have one last card left defending me. If I can't do anything this turn, if I can't summon a monster, I'm fucked. And I bring Ash Blossom out, and I'm like, yes! So, like, earlier, I had an Ash Blossom that I used on the Judgment Dragon. He actually only has six cards in the graveyard right now. And if I hadn't used that Ash Blossom, he would have had enough material to bring out another snow. And that would have meant he would have killed my defense monster. And I would have had nothing for this this combo. And I I use that. I panicked, I use that, and I was like, okay, this this seems like bad. Like bad news if he can just keep milling. But luckily, I could blow his card up and win the game. This was probably one of the funner duels that I've had. I thought it was super fun. And yeah, I just I just really wanted to talk about it because I had a lot of fun like playing this and stuff like that. Alright, well that's it for now. See you guys later.